this month on the M Squared Circle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the March edition of the Hexagon Circle. That's right, it's your boy D Jose 101 in the building, guest hosting this great edition. And first of all, I'd like to thank the greatest general manager in YouTube history, Grumpy Cheeto, for having the greatest guest host to ever grace this show on. Thank you, Grumpy Cheeto, for having me. I really appreciate it. And now, let's take it to the three people that host this show, the beautiful Anonymous Angel, the talented Wesley White, and that one other guy, whatever his name is. You know, D. Jose, I'm not going to let you get to me because, you know, I know what Grumpy Cheeto is doing by bringing you on the show. He's just trying to annoy me, and he's just trying to make my life a, a living heck, and I'm not going to let him do it. Sorry. He's got a point. What? What do you mean he has a point? Well, you're kind of a douche. I am not, I'm not a, the guy that came out and said that I, like, that our, that our show as a whole was mediocre and not any good, and you are defending him? Dang. Well, maybe it would be a little bit better if you didn't spend the entire show looking at my boobs. Oh, that's black. You know, we're moving on to our top stories. I have a point. All right, first of all, we all saw or heard about what happened at the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view to The Undertaker. For those who don't, the Faker Taker was burned by his pyro as he was making his way to the ring during his normal entrance. Well, what you didn't see was after the match, he walked up the ramp and yelled at the pyro he was burned by before making some gestures. He then headed backstage furiously and yelled at WWE officials and staff. They tried to set him down, but they were unable to. The Undertaker continued to be mad, but he was lucky that it wasn't worse than it could have been. Actually, it was worse. It's like, he knew he was going to lose the title, so he had to set himself on fire. In TNA news, Kurt Angle is reported to be suffering from back and calf injuries at the moment. Um, it is said that King Angle has asked if he could have a lighter schedule as he feels that he needs a lot of time to recover, which is a good thing because, you know, those things don't heal overnight. Um, some have also believed that he needs to be written off TV so he, that he can heal up 100%. Awesome Kong has asked for a raise on several occasions, but company officials have apparently not honored her request. Kong reportedly blew up last spring when she found out that then-newcomer Brutus Magnus was being paid far more than her, even though she really shouldn't know someone else's salary. It's just uncouth. And it was reported recently that Kong has regularly vented backstage about the company spending frivolously on newcomers. Since then, she was very upset with Ric Flair's wife being treated to limousine service on the company's dime at a recent show. TNA never grants limo service to its female performers. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Stop looking at Anonymous Angel like that. Wipe the drool off your chin and do your job, you lazy slob. Man, I tell you, how can you guys put up with this guy? He's such an embarrassment. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. Please continue. Whatever. <sighs> also, Cold Stone Steve Austin was interviewed in WWE Magazine's special 2010 WrestleMania 26 Almanac and says he has no further interest in fighting Hulk Hogan. The WWE has <clears throat> made repeated attempts at past WrestleManias to make this match work, but Austin declined. Austin said that he doesn't care to wrestle, about, to wrestle Hulk Hogan and he doesn't think it will live up to his fans' expectations. He's right. You just see three or four moves. A stunner, a leg drop, a body slam, and a middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> so true. 
Alrighty, and in the final of the top stories, Bobby Lashley told Heavyweight.com that he is under the impression that his relationship with TNA Wrestling has come to an end. Uh, and he plans to focus more on his MMA fighting career anyway. Uh, he says that he never received a call, but his profile has been removed from the TNA website, so all signs point to Bobby Lashley being removed from the TNA roster. Bye bye, Bobby. I don't think Hogan liked you anymore. Bye bye, brother. Literally, because you're a brother. Get out of here, brother. That was dumb. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'd also like to encourage everyone to check out WrestlingRevolution.com, where we have where we have all the news updates and we have live you can chats talk and to stuff. Me. Yeah, you can talk to Anonymous Angel. She's gonna be on the if chats. I'm on there. Yeah, if she's on there. Um, Wesley White, we're gonna have Monday night chat, so join us there. And I guess let's move on to our. Um, actually, yeah. If you notice our hats, we're doing this because it's March. Yeah. <laughs> My birthday's in March. This month's edition of the Unsquared Circle is brought to you by Hornswoggle! I'll probably put something like that. Yeah, he has a point. What? No. Shut up! <laughs> Alright, let's move on to our individual segments. Welcome to Bobby Black's True News Angle. It's true. It's darn. Stop, true. stop, stop the show. Barbara, Bobby, Boobra, whatever your name is, before you go shooting your mouth off like you normally do, I have something I need to tell you. I'm looking over at the ratings of the Unsquared Circle over the past few months, and I saw that ratings have gone down when you have came on camera to do your True News Angle segment. So, with deepest regrets and sorrow and sadness actually I regret to inform you that actually no I don't I'm gonna love this part Bobby Black you're fired now get out leave right now you know I knew bringing you on this show was a bad idea and Grumpy will have to agree with me now you can't fire me you can't get rid of me I'm contractually bound to this show so guest host or not I don't think you can get rid of me that's right. I said it. You're fired, Bobby. Nobody wants to see you. You're wasting camera time by coming on doing your pointless true news angle segments. Nobody wants to see you anymore. And actually, I have enjoyed firing you. You are forever banned from ever coming on the U2C again. Now, please leave. D. Jose, you will not get away with this. I swear to you, I... Oh. Now that Bobby Black has been officially ejected from the Hexagon Circle, I have decided to replace him with his True News Angle segment. So, as of now, welcome to D. Jose's True News Angle. Jeff Hardy has decided to return to TNA on a full-time basis when and hugely if he can clear his drug trial. Jeff Hardy wants a light schedule and is reportedly very angry and upset with the WWE after CM Punk was involved in a segment where he mocked him after he had been arrested. Everyone's least favorite DJ in the universe, Bubba the Love Sponge, is said to be the least popular person in the TNA locker room. No surprise there. Those who look past his shock jock personality say he gives off a vibe that he's above everyone else due to his friendship with the leader of the senior center, Hulk Hogan. TNA has hired former WWE star Dave Taylor to be an agent. Taylor will be taking place of the longtime TNA member Scott D. Moore, who severe tied with severe ties with the company a few weeks ago. Apparently, Taylor received rave reviews from his co-workers for the great job he did in his first week. One half of the Motor City Machine Guns, Alex Shelley, who is suffering from a few herniating, herniated and bulging discs, is expected to continue working through said injuries. Good luck, Shelley. Hopefully, you don't hurt yourself too bad. In the TNA locker room, Three members of the Senior Center, Hulk Hogan and the Nasty Boys, 
had a laugh at the expense of Jay Lethal. Jerry Sags openly questioned how long TNA will keep him employed and laughed at the audacity of his black machismo character. Hogan said that he may bring in Randy the Macho Man, oh yeah, Savage, to manage Jay Lethal. Makes me wonder how long the Nasty Boys will still be employed. Unfortunately, word is going around that recently married TNA star Frankie Kazarian, also known as Suicide, had an affair with a California-based adult star. Frankie Kazarian and Tracy, Bo Tracy Brooks had just got married last month, and to further the turmoil there have been some nude photos leaked online of Frankie Kazarian, and we have had our nude photo analyst, Wesley White, confirm the photo's authenticity. On with the show. <laughs> 